Imagine a garden so advanced, it used its own version of air conditioning 1,500 years ago. Welcome to the ancient hanging gardens of Babylon, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. But did you know they might have inspired ancient agricultural innovations far beyond just beauty? Picture a massive multi-level garden built into a palace, with trees, shrubs, and vines cascading down terraces. This wasn't just for show. It was a feat of engineering and agriculture combined. The gardens supposedly belonged to King Nebuchadnezzar II, who built them to please his homesick wife, Amidas, from a lush green homeland. But how did they keep plants thriving in the arid Mesopotamian climate? Ancient engineers used a system called a chain pump to pull water up from the Euphrates River to irrigate the terraces. This early irrigation method was revolutionary, allowing for controlled watering in a desert environment. Think of it as an ancient drip irrigation system. Beyond the hanging gardens, ancient cultures across the world developed incredible agricultural gardens that combined aesthetics with utility. The Persian Paradise Gardens introduced the concept of symmetrical layouts divided by water channels, influencing garden design from Spain to India. Meanwhile, in ancient China, imperial gardens were not only places of beauty, but also experiments in cultivating medicinal plants and rare species, reflecting an early understanding of botany and ecology. The significance? These historical gardens weren't just pretty spaces. They represented the ingenuity of human civilization to manipulate nature. They were early examples of sustainable agriculture and urban farming showing how societies adapted to their environments and even shaped cultural identities through horticulture. So next time you stroll through a modern botanical garden or urban farm, remember, you're walking through centuries of innovation and cultural exchange. Here's a question to ponder. Could ancient garden techniques like those chain pumps be adapted to help solve modern water scarcity issues? Gardens might just hold the key to our future, rooted deep in our past.